So FDK just finished processing our image and we can now begin our examination. Now the first thing you'll notice is there's a series of tabs up here which you can use to look at some of the contents of our image. Um, the way I approach this assignment is I went into overview and I started looking at some of the emails and reading some of the contents of the conversations to get an understanding of what uh, is happening. And this should answer uh, several of the questions in your assignment. Um, this tab here will also uh, help you um, identify certain graphic files. If you go in a file category, graphics, you can look at um, certain, certain picture files by their extensions. So that might help you. Additionally, if you go into the email tab, you can look at email domains by going on email addresses. So it splits it up by senders and recipients. And each category has domains and names and addresses. And this should help you with the portion of the assignment dealing with uh, email addresses. Another thing you might find useful is if we go over to index search, you can perform searches uh, with key terms. So, for example, if we search for the keyword password, it would add that, and then double click on the term, include all files, and this will result in uh, a series of files that have the, the keyword within them. So as you can see we have 67 hits in 14 files, uh, both in allocated and unallocated space. So you can look through these and you might find something uh, valuable to the uh, investigation. Um, if we go into back to overview, we can look at see here under file system files. We can take a look at the Windows registry and if we go here, Sam, there's uh, some reports that you might find interesting um, containing user accounts, administrator accounts, and you can open this if you right click in Registry Viewer and it's down here. You can open up SAM and these are the users within the system. We have uh, user names, so these are the user accounts that are on the system. For example, if we were to open this, we can see type is 03E8, which is this folder. And over here, we can see that this account uh, has been accessed 96 times. Uh, three times there was an invalid logon, so you might have inserted the wrong password. And so that's some information about the user accounts that are on the system. Another thing you might use when you're looking at, for example, the overview tab and you have all these results is you might want to say, okay, but I only want to look at, for example, within documents. I want to only look at the documents that are deleted. So you'll go up here in the filter tab and you'll select deleted files and it'll show you for each category <coughs> the documents that are deleted. So here's seven documents for example that have been deleted from the, <coughs> from the system. 
this one here might be interesting my confession um, and another thing that uh, helped me complete the assignment is if you go to I'm going to put this back to unfiltered so we can just see all the results if we go up to evidence and we do an additional analysis we can choose to do file signature analyses or several other options but one that I found useful was the known file filter uh, analysis, which basically checks all the files on the image against databases of known hash values. Uh, and these databases include both uh, good files and bad files. So if you go here and look at what we're using, the virtual environment has already some databases uploaded within FDK for both alert and ignore categories. So alert would be files that um, might have something of uh, potential value to your investigation and ignore files are known good files within um, however you've configured it, of course, within, uh, within the databases. So <clears throat> we're gonna run this and we just open this up so I can get to the okay. Here. And what this is going to do is run that analysis and um, show us the results. So once it's finished, let me close that. Once it's finished in the overview tab, we can we can go down file status and you'll see that we have the known file filter alert and ignore categories so you have 20 files that you know might have something of interest for example there are some executable files uh, that might be hacking tools and that sort of thing and another thing you can do going back to the additional analysis is run uh, registry reports which basically will generate a file containing uh, reports from the registry for example if you are interested in uh, looking at certain programs that that are set up to initiate on startup so I'm going to run that and once it's complete we can close out of here. Go to File, Report, and we can get rid of these sections since for now we're only interested in the registry selections. And we're going to select Auto Report. I'm going to check Select All and okay PDF format I'm going to choose a report folder I'm just going to create um, a new folder on the desktop and call it report Okay, so now we can go through the registry report and we're going to see a lot of information. Uh, but particularly for one of the questions, um, we're interested in looking at startup programs. So, for example, we might want to look at startup software by user. And you can just click on that, it's going to open up a browser window with some information about certain programs that are set to start automatically when the machine is turned on. Um, let's look at this one, startup software. So here for example we have uh, Windows Defender and 
uh, a program called peer-to-peer -peer net PTP networking um, sound man certain things like that you might want to look up and see uh, what those programs exactly are and a final thing that I wanted to mention if you go back to the filtering options we can select alternate data streams and this might prove to be useful for example we have a document one document file here that has an alternate data stream and Also, if you're interested in encrypted files, you might just want to go take a look at that. And this will generate a list of files on the image that have some type of encryption. And that might also help you answer some of the questions. So I hope this video helps you approach this assignment.